Hey guys, today I'm out here on, on the property and I'm trying to run two Cat6 Ethernet cables from my house to my workshop. Um, and unfortunately, I had too much fun with the four-wheelers and one of the cables actually got tied up with the four-wheeler and snapped the cable. So now you're wondering what's the best way to fix this cable when it's in the middle of the woods and there's not really any buildings near where you can just tie it up in there with a switch or, you know, we want to make sure it's waterproof, right? So I actually found these uh, junction boxes for Cat6 on Amazon, really good deal, where you can just put two wires and splice them together. The downside to this, it's not really waterproof. Um, you can see it's on a little circuit board there. The moment this gets any humidity or water, you know, it's definitely gonna not going to last too long out here in the woods. And so then I was like, okay, well, I can do the junction box and then get one of these um, sealed. They're kind of meant for like ISPs where they put all their equipment in, so it's a sealed waterproof box. So I was like, well, I can put this inside there, and I did all that. But these boxes are actually not cheap. They're like 30 40 bucks, and I was like, what else can we do? So I found these on Amazon, which is basically what that junction box does, except for you just put two connectors on each end and then it's just, you know, it just extends it basically. Um, so we'll take this other end off and you can see this is on both ends and it makes it waterproof. And I thought this was just so neat. Even nicer about these things is, um, let's say you already have your ends on and you're like, well, how am I going to add this thing on here when I got to go through that small hole? Well, what's nice is this is big enough to fit that connector on. So you can see this comes right off. And then this thing is actually cut in the middle. So then you can just clamp it on your wire and there you have it. And then same thing with the end that goes right between that as well. So it's very easy. If you already have your ends on, you can simply, cause a lot of things don't do this. You actually have to cut the end and then add these things on there. But these things go right on the wire, which is really makes it a lot easier process. But there you guys have it. And it also makes it waterproof as well. So if you guys need to fix a wire out in the field and you want to make sure it's waterproof, I suggest you picking these up on Amazon and uh, that'll get your, your job done for sure. Hope this video was helpful. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.